of my salvation. Come on, everybody, say. Call upon the Lord, for oh, He is worthy to be. I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the Lord. He is worthy to be. He is worthy to be. Ah, blessed be the Hallelujah. Blessed be the Rock. Hosanna. Oh, blessed be the rock, hallelujah, blessed be the rock salvation. Come on, say. Ah, blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock, my salvation. Oh, blessed be the rock, hallelujah. Of my salvation, oh Jenna, oh blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock, my salvation, oh blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock. Come on, everybody. this morning uh, from our sanctuary located here at 132 Bank Street in the beautiful city of Suffolk, Virginia. Yes, and we're glad and we're excited. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of our salvation. Jesus was the payment of Jerusalem on his triumphant entry. And 
and it says, Hosanna, oh, blessed be ye that come in the name of the Lord. We can bring you greetings on this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and happy Palm Sunday to each and every one of you. Amen. And we're just excited about what the Lord is going to do in and through us on today. The Lord has been good to us, and whereof we're glad. Somebody say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. For he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. God has blessed us to see another day. A day that we have never seen before, and we do give him glory, we do give him honor. Continue to like and to share as we go forth on the service on the day. We're expecting God to move in a miraculous way. Yes, sir. You can get your miracle. Today is your day of salvation. Yes. Today is your day of miracle. And I believe a miracle is about to happen. There is a miracle with your name on it. And we believe in God and we're trusting right now for what he is going to do. Yes, sir. And we ask now that you continue to like and to share. We're going to begin our our program on this morning with our prayer, amen. I'm going to ask uh, Mother Roberto uh, William, I'm, I'm sorry, Brother Fran Rogers, I'm sorry, if he would come and he would offer prayer for yes, us sir. on this morning and immediately after he should have come, I'm going to ask Mother Roberto Williams that she would come and read our scripture reading for this morning. Let's say amen for them in that order. My Lord, my Savior, my King, yes. Father, here we are before your throne, yes, hallelujah, yes, yes. needing your help, my Lord, yes. constantly needing your help, Father, yes. help us, my Lord, on today, help us, Father, glory to God, we need your help in our marriages, my Lord, in our home, my Lord, with our children, my Lord, with our finances, Father, needing help, Father. Help in our minds, my Lord. Help in our flesh, my Lord. Hallelujah. Needing help constantly, my Lord. We struggle, my Lord. We struggle constantly, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for knowing, my Lord, for seeing, my Lord, knowing what we're going through, my Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Help us, my Lord, as we continue to go through the process, my Lord. Hallelujah. As you shape us and mold us, my Lord, into what you want us to be, Father. Give us strength, my Lord. Give us confidence on today, my Lord. Give us the reassurance that we need, my Lord, to continue to stay fed in your word, my Lord. Hallelujah. Needing guidance, my Lord. Needing more of your anointing. Needing more favor, my Lord. More mercy. More grace, Father. Hallelujah. Needing you the more, my Lord. Hallelujah. Show us the way, Father. Hallelujah. Show us the way, my Lord, to eternal life, Father. Give us strength, my Lord. Help us to love our sisters, my Lord, and our brothers, my Lord. Hallelujah. Show us, my Lord, how to love as you love, Father. For you love us all, my Lord. You sacrifice, my Lord, your life for us, my Lord. Hallelujah. And I thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Father. For all that you do, my Lord, in the doors that you're about to open for us, my Lord, here at higher ground, at churches all over the world, my Lord, hallelujah, glory to God, I thank you, Lord, for pouring down, my Lord, the blessings are about to fall, hallelujah, upon your people, my Lord, that have been crying to you, my Lord, constantly, my Lord, to make a way, Father, make a way for us here at higher ground, open the doors, my Lord, Show them the door, my Lord, to eternal life. Hallelujah. Use us, my Lord. Use us, my Lord. Hallelujah. Use Pastor Carter on today, my Lord. Bless him, my Lord. Strengthen him. Encourage him, my Lord. Hallelujah. Lead his mind on today, my Lord. Hallelujah. For he has a heart, my Lord, like no other father. Hey, a heart after your own righteousness, my Lord. Hallelujah. Willing to do the anything it takes to do the kingdom work, Father. Bless him, Father, in doing so, my Lord. Hallelujah. Pour an overflow of blessings upon blessings upon his life, my Lord. Hallelujah. Guide his footsteps. Guide his mind, my Lord, to how to do it, my Lord. Put the necessary resources, finances, my Lord, to bring it to pass sooner, my Lord, for the vision, my Lord, that you're giving him, Father. Hallelujah. Bless him, my Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. It shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Glory. It shall come to pass. Hallelujah. There's no one like the invisible God that we know. Hallelujah. You are able to do anything, Father. Hallelujah. You can heal, my Lord. Set free, my Lord. Give sight to the blind, my Lord. Make ways out of no way, my Lord. I thank you on today for strength, my Lord. I thank you for your power that 
your hand that is upon us right now, my Lord. Hallelujah. Save and deliver, Father, throughout this world, my Lord. Touch the minds of those, my Lord, with these anxiety attacks that the enemy, my Lord, hallelujah, glory to God that the enemy, my Lord, is attacking our minds right now, my Lord, filling it with hatred, my Lord, to kill, my Lord, to give up, hallelujah, give them strength, my Lord, touch their minds on today, touch their hearts, my Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, let your love prevail throughout the world, my Lord, we need love on today, Father, love for our brothers and sisters, my Lord, bless, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, Servant on today, my Lord, to deliver a pathetic word, my Lord. Hallelujah. Encouragement, my Lord, that we need, my Lord, to stand strong, my Lord. Hallelujah. Keep us connected, my Lord. Grounded and rooted, my Lord. Hallelujah. And you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look upon the sick, the shut in everywhere, Father. Hallelujah. Open doors for your people, my Lord, that are calling on you constantly, my Lord. Hallelujah. Make a way for our brothers and sisters, my Lord, on today, Father. This is our prayer, Father. Hallelujah. This is our prayer in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. There's a deed of the Almighty. Thank God for your for the prayer and for leading us in a word of prayer. Yes, amen. At this time, Mother Roberta Williams is coming with our scripture reading for this morning. Let's say amen for him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise, God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. God bless you, Good morning, everyone. God bless you. Good morning. I'll be reading Psalms, the hundred Psalms. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy it's everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. God's word is already blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. It's already blessed. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, it's a good thing. You're thanksgiving. And it's a good part of it. We'll pray. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. I know he's good. He's good, 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 good. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. 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 Yes, Lord. 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 Nobody can do you like the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. We're so grateful. I'm so thankful for what the Lord has done. He has brought us together one more time. Oh, so she said one more time. I'm glad to be in the number. Just one more time. Could have been dead and gone. But the Lord. Golden moments to roll on. I'm giving praise to Him. All His glory, His glory. We give God the praise this morning for each and every one of you that are with us on this morning. The Lord is good. He has brought us one more time into His house and into into His house with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. And we're doing just that. God has blessed us to see almost another Resurrection Sunday. We're just glad. Amen. Almost there. Almost there. Amen. And as we celebrate 
what the Lord has done for us, and this is the zenith of our Christian experience, that yes, resurrection, because he is not dead. Yes, but as the scriptures say, he's arisen. And that is the evidence by which there was no evidence that he was there, but he was gone. And he was gone, amen, to meet his father, which is in heaven. We're glad today just for the privilege to be able to celebrate that event, and we can leave up forward to that. And we ask that you continue to join us as we celebrate this holy week, this passion, this week of passion, of course, and Passover. We're in that season, and it is a very critical and very important season by which we have entered into. But we'd like to also remind you that we are yet adhering to the CDC guidelines of our social distancing, and of course, we're doing our face covering. I do have mine. I just took it off temporarily. Amen. But we are exercising our distancing and our face covering and our sanitations. We do have our station set up so we can check your temperatures. And if anyone is experiencing any of those things that are listed on that brochure, we ask that you would judge yourselves accordingly because we're not trying to infect anybody else and we're not trying to get infected ourselves. But we do thank God for the privilege to come together to worship one with the other. And it is important that we come together uh, and worship. Forsake not the assembling of yourselves together as the manner of some end, but exhort one another and so much the more as we see that evil day approaching. And God knows that the testimony was really told. Yes, Most of you have acknowledged the fact that we're living in an evil day, but God is still good. Do I have a witness today? Yes, you know that God is still good and is yet making ways for us. We're so grateful and so thankful for all of you that are uh, with us. I'm glad to have my wife with me on today. And yes, sir. So again, we're in this special season. Yes, Amen. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to ask her if she would come. And that's where we're going with some greeting now. Can't preach this morning. Amen. But you're going to come and say a few words. Praise the Lord. And I enjoy her. Amen. We, we've we been doing this for yes, some time. And I think we could tag team if they really came down to it. Yes, sir. Amen. But she's going to come at this time. Amen. Missionary Irma Carter is going to come to give you greetings. Let's say amen for her as she comes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. amen. Hosanna, Hosanna. Yes. Our King has come. And as we celebrate this glorious and somber week, we as Christians believe and we praise God for opening the door, the door to our heart, and for giving us a chance. And remember, he didn't have to do it, but he did. And we're so glad to be able to be a part of the number as we celebrate this glorious but bloody week. Amen. We won't forget what the Lord has done for us, how he set us free, how he gave us the opportunity. Amen. And yes, my friend, my brothers, my sisters, it is a choice. God is already here. He's waiting on us to make the choice. Amen. Amen. As we celebrate his interest in my mind, in my sanctified heart, I see them waving and bowing and, and glorious and so happy because our king has come. And then a few days later, they turned on him. Amen. They turned on him and put uh, uh, and, 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 and got together and desired to kill him, which they did. But we thank and praise God because that's not how the story ends. Amen. So we thank and praise God for Jesus. Because as we know, three days later, he did get up again. Hallelujah. And that's what we are looking for. Amen. All today. We thank God today for the sunshine and rain. We just thank God for the freedom of choice to worship him. Amen. Amen. Nobody's putting a gun to your head. You can say yes to the Lord right now. You can ask him to forgive you right now. You don't have to bleed all your sins. Sin is sin. Amen. Whoever is in. But you can always ask God to help you. And that here too. And he'll forgive us. And yes, I thank God for loving us. One day he forgave me. Yes. One day he set me free. Yes. Amen. And after that he made waves for me. And after that he's keeping me. He's keeping me because I asked him to. Yes. Praise God. So all you have to do is ask God. Praise God. He needs to hear your voice. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, we are praying for you. Yes, we are seeking God for you. We are fasting. And we are going to the Lord on your behalf. But God needs to hear something from you. Open your mouth. Tell God you're sorry. Tell God you're sorry. Tell him that to forgive you. Hallelujah. And tell him you won't do it again. With his help. Hallelujah. You know, he'll take that thing right out of you. That thieving thing. That lying thing. They're sleeping around, whatever it is, that's unseen. 
and not God, that God can do it. So as we celebrate this week, just remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen. Thank God for my wife, amen. And uh, she can't uh, say a word if necessarily if need be. Yes, so, sir. Amen. We appreciate her and thank God for you and thank God for the opportunity yeah. uh, to minister to you uh, by which we're able to come to you live on this morning. And we ask that you would continue to like and to share as we go forth in the service even on uh -huh. today. Uh, we do have a few announcements because we're in a special season. This month of April brings special uh, events by which we do want to make you aware of. And I thank God for those of you that are sharing with us uh, and able to support the ministry. I'm going to ask Missionary Wardenia Lassler if she would come at this time. She has a few announcements, and then we will proceed with the furtherance of the service. Let's say amen for her as she comes. Amen. 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 God bless you this morning. You and Facebook Land as well as in the sanctuary this morning. We thank God for being here. Amen. 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 Uh, we are in celebration time. April is our church anniversary time. But we also want to remember, somebody say pastor's anniversary. Pastor's anniversary. Amen. Amen. We thank God for sending Pastor Carter to the higher ground of the yes, church of God in Christ. Amen. but sending him to the world. Amen. We sincerely appreciate our pastor's devotion, his dedication, his love, his spirit, his teaching, and his wisdom. We pray for him every day. But we want to appreciate him in another way come this October. Amen. Amen. This is a time of year that's set aside for pastor's appreciation. Uh -huh along with our first lady Amen. and so we want to set aside this time to personally and as a congregation show our appreciation to them we want to encourage them to continue the work amen, amen. so this is financially yes, yes. yes. amen with yes. our money yes. with our money yes. amen so hopefully we will do this not with a grudgingly not heart. We will do it with a cheerful heart. Amen? So send your money. I am standing here today to encourage you on Facebook as well as in the sanctuary. We have three ways that you can do this. We can do this on our Giblify app, which you know it, uh, Higher Ground Outreach, Church of God in Christ on your Giblify app. And you can do it as well on our cash app. It's with the dollar sign, C-C-E-F-C, -E and certainly you can mail it in at 132 Bank Street, Southern Virginia, 23434. I encourage you to do that. Start today. Um, start doing it today. Um, you know how it is. Sometimes things come up when it's starting to get close. So start doing it today. Somebody told me that love was an action word. So we continue to say, Pastor, I love you. First lady, I love you. Well, let's show them that at this time. Let's show them that we love them and we want to encourage them. So start doing this today and we certainly will get to our goal. We're going to have our goal thermometer up real soon. And we want to see how close we're getting to our goal. So I encourage you today to send your pledges, send your money, send your money, send your money. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for what you're giving. Of course, of those of you that have been giving and supporting us doing this part. And we're grateful for what the Lord has done. And thank you for your loyal uh, support and your prayers. Because prayer is definitely needed in this last day. We had to pray for our leaders. Yes, sir. And somebody mentioned, say, we get the kind of leader that we pray for. So if y'all pray right and y'all pray for me, I might just be the person that God is calling for in these last and evil days. So thank you, Mr. Lassner. Thank you, Higher Ground. And thank you, my friends and our loved ones and our church family. We certainly do appreciate your gifts of love and kindness. Uh, also, we like to continue to thank God for uh, these ministering brothers and sisters. Thank God for Elder Michael Eaton, who's here with us. Amen. Come on, let's celebrate. Thank God for them. Amen. Pastor Christopher Thomas is here. Amen. Reverend Brother Ted is here. Amen. He's going to come to us uh, with the selection. But we want to remind you as well that you can join us even on our Tuesday night 
uh, session of our Bible study, just go to our webpage. And we are, it's, it's open to the public. Anybody can come and be a part of it. Uh, you just go to www.hgocogic.com. And that uh, call signs again is www.hgo, which is for High Ground Outreach, C O G I C, and y'all know that's Church of God in Christ, yes, dot com. And you will tune in and just click on the link at the bottom of the page. And we've been going through a study of uh, dealing with the ministry gifts. And God knows we were trying to do that this past Tuesday night. We didn't quite get there because we got in an open forum discussion. And I thought it was a very relevant discussion about whether or not, you know, we as Christians and how we are to act and interact with our children. Uh, how, where we draw the line, where the boundaries are, what boundaries that should be set for them, what boundaries should be set for us. Provoke not thy children to wrath, but it also says, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land. That's the only commandment we promise. So we talked about that and we got caught up and we did it as the Lord gave it to us. And we're praying that the Lord will continue to bless those of you that join in with us. Maybe you can have some input. It's open to the public and just come right in and join in with us. And we'd be glad to have you as part of our discussion during our Tuesday night sessions. And of course, we want you to also remember that on Tuesday at 12 noon is our intercessory prayer, and you're welcome to join that as well. Uh, we have our, I don't have the call signs before me right now, but you can go to the webpage, and it'll connect you directly to our conference for our noonday intercessory prayer. And that takes place on Tuesday as well as on Friday at the noonday hour. God is yet answering prayer, and God knows we're praying for you, Sister Jackie. Amen. We're praying for you all the way down in Texas. Yes, sir. I know this, that prayer will reach you wherever you are. It's not relegated to where you are, but God will reach you at the point of your need. And know for sure that we're praying in particular for you. Amen. That the Lord will bless you and give you the desires of your heart. That's the type of God that we serve. Yes, Amen. So keep those announcements in mind and judge yourselves accordingly. And we're going to proceed with the furtherance of our service on today. We're certainly glad to have Reverend Ted uh, Thomas with us on today. Yes, amen. And the son of uh, with Christopher Thomas. Amen. He's coming. And he's going to give us a selection on today. Let's say that for him as he comes. Amen. 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 Everybody say praise certainly an honor and a privilege to be here on today. Yes. This is just another day that God has waken us up this morning, that he has started us on our way. Yes. And we want to tell God, thank you for everything that he has done for us. And I just want to encourage somebody on today yes. that whatever problem, whatever situation that is in your way, tragedy, trial, tribulations, and temptation, yes. we serve a God who could fix it for you. As a matter of fact, there's a song that says, It's all in His hands. It's all in His hands. He can fix it. He
he'll fix it. He'll fix it. He'll fix it. He'll fix it. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus will. He will fix it. Hey. Hallelujah. He'll fix it for you. Lift both hands and say you'll fix it. Say fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Lord. Fix it. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 He'll fix it. He'll fix it. He'll fix it for you. My friend, my brother, my sister. I don't care how difficult your situation might be. Let my dad say he'll fix it. Let me say he'll fix it. That's not for anybody, but he'll fix it for you. Put your hand on yourself. Say he'll fix it for me. He'll fix it for me. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know that he is. There's nothing too hard for God. There's no problem, no situation that you can be confronted with that's too hard for God. Somebody asked a question. Said, is there anything too hard for God? No, 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 no. There's nothing. Nothing. Give him praise. That's how he does it. He does it on his own time. And he 
he'll do it for you. There is a miracle with your name. Hallelujah. If you can trust and never doubt, somebody say he'll surely bring it out. Jesus will fix it for you. Thank you, Reverend Mateo. Amen. He's an anointed singer and musician. God knows the Lord is using him. For such a time as this. And we're grateful for what the Lord has done. That's all right. Yeah, 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 they're yeah, getting yeah, rejoicing, they're yeah, giving him praise. They yet yeah, blessing his name. Hallelujah. He's yet yeah, blessing. He's yet yeah, working in the house. Yeah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody say, all you got to do is reach out and touch the Lord as he goes by. You'll find that he's never too busy to hear your heart cry. I don't care where y'all, he's passing by this hallelujah, this very moment. Your knees, he'll supply. Just reach out. There's an effort on your part. Glory to God. If you reach out to him, he'll reach out to you. Thank you, Jesus. If you touch him, he'll touch you back. Hey, you have witness. If you touch him, he will touch you back. Glory to God. We try to trust the Lord as we go by. Yes, he is ill and to his way. We do thank God for this privilege and this opportunity. As we share with you on today, truly we are rejoicing in the God of our salvation. Can't nobody do you like somebody don't know what you've been through. And they see your praise, they don't understand why you praise God like you do. They, they see your story, glory, but they don't know your story. They see what God is doing for you in and through your life. We see the Lord moving upon you by his power, but they don't know what, like you know, what the Lord has done for you. And somebody said, if you can't tell it, let me tell it. What the Lord has done, if he healed your body, if he brought you out, if he delivered you from the demon that was trying to destroy you, God will bring you out. I know that he will. He's done it for me. And what he's done for others, somebody say he'll do the same for me. We celebrate today and thank God for all of our ministry brothers and sisters as we try to share with you for the next few moments, remaining moments of the word of the Lord. Continue to like and to share. I believe God is, there is a fresh wind that is sweeping throughout this nation, sweeping throughout this world that God is saying, get on the wave, get on the wavelength, get on the same frequency to what God is doing in this last day. I believe in God, God's going to bring a new generation forth out of this pandemic and out of this crisis. They're going to be a more determined and more dedicated and more consecrated group of men and women that's determined to do what the Lord has said do. While we're celebrating this Passover season, we do thank God for this Holy Week. And we'll be celebrating our good night, our good Friday night service on Friday night at 7 p.m. And we ask that you would join us. Just click on the link and you'll be able to join us. And I don't know exactly how we're going to format it, but we'll be there. Just meet us there. Help me say, just meet us there. We're going to be sharing with you for this Good Friday. We just might sing some old hymns and we say a few words, and of course, and we encourage your heart and let you know that God is working on your behalf. But as we look at this particular season, of course, there are things by which we often reminded. There are certain events that have transpired and have taken place that we need to take special note of. And as I was reading and studying on last evening and even on this morning earlier, the Lord began to deal with my heart and my soul concerning uh, the 27th chapter of the book of St. Matthew. And I am a Bible person. I do like to read what the scriptures have recorded. And I think that is our roadmap. That's what we got to go by. Uh, we're going to find out. We're going to get this thing right. We're going to have to quote what he wrote. Y'all you know saying amen. We're going to have to go back to what the Bible says and going back to preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
and telling men and women that they can and must be saved. What must I do to be saved? Jesus has already laid out the format. He's already yes, given us the contract by which to go to. And all we got to go back and, to, and check what the contract says. And we won't miss it by any stretch of the imagination. But in the book of St. Matthew, I do want to share with you. And I read in the 15th through the 17th verse of that same chapter. Looked at on particular events concerning this week by which we're leading up to the resurrection. And this is a pre, this is a, a, a event that preceded uh, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, which, of course, we celebrate on next Sunday, our Easter or Resurrection Sunday. Yeah. But I began reading in that particular passage, mm. and it dealt with a man called Barabbas. And it dealt with Jesus, of course, and I'm going to be trying to ask the question, what is your choice? Right. Hear me say, what is your choice? What is your choice? Jesus or Barabbas? Barabbas. St. Matthew, the 27 chapter, verses 15 through 17. Now at the feast, the governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner whom they would. And they had then a notable prisoner. Y'all help me say a notable prisoner. A notable called Barabbas. Therefore, when they had were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you, Barabbas or Jesus which is called Christ. Yeah. Can y'all say amen for the reading of God's amen. word? Amen. Now, as we recount the events that led up to this particular arrest, the yeah. conviction and the eventual crucifixion of Jesus, uh, it is noteworthy that we revisit some of these similarities of those particular events. And Elder Thomas, I was looking at that on this morning, and of course, and Jesus being yet delivered unto Pilate is recorded in all four of the gospel writers. Who is this person called Barabbas, though? History says that his name is Yeshua Bar Abba, which literally means son of the father or son of the teacher. Or Jesus Barabbas. I know I'm going to mess the theology up this morning. But really Jesus. Because there were many Jesuses. Or Jesus doing Jesus' time. But there was only one Jesus of Nazareth. I'm going to talk about him today. Then we end his season. But that means of course. It appears that he and Jesus share the same name in the Hebrew. That might explain Pilate's question to the people when he said, whom do you that I release unto you? Uh -huh. Jesus Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ yeah. or the Messiah. Y'all yeah. work with me today. I'm going to try to get through here today. But this is where, this is where the similarities really end. Yeah. They may have shared a similar somewhat name, yeah. but that's where the similarities end. Yeah. Barabbas was a, a zealot and likely represented what the people would have liked Jesus to do, and that was to overthrow the government. Mark 15 and 7 says that he was an insurrectionist who committed murder. St. John 18 and 40 says that now Barabbas was a robber. Yes, sir. Whether he is a seditionist or a murderer or a robber, Matthew calls him a notable prisoner. Yes, sir. Somebody that had a reputation to, of breaking the law. Amen. A criminal, in other words. Yeah. And uh, people, but you know what? The people liked him. And sometimes folk just like you because they like you. Yes, sir. He was a rule breaker, but he was a popular rule breaker. Yeah. He was a persuasive and he had the ability and he had influence on other people. Amen. Anytime you can get other people to follow you to overthrow the, uh-oh, y'all, I'm going to get me in trouble oh, yeah. now. To follow you in overthrowing the government, you got some type of influence. Yeah. That is who we identify as Barabbas. But sounds like many of those that are popular in our day would be almost likened unto that day Barabbas. It appears that the world is saying, give us Barabbas. We rather have him than this Jesus who is called Christ yeah. or Messiah. Barabbas represents in our day a, a, a Jesus alternative. Help me say Barabbas, Barabbas. represents in our day a Jesus alternative. Let me explain what I'm saying because it's on a daily basis. Some people would rather choose a Barabbas type 
rather than a Jesus type. Because people attempt to figure out how can I live and do what I want to do and do it my way without Christ with his rules and regulations. Oh my God. We look for temporary solutions to our problems. And, and not only that, but we convince ourselves that we are willing to compromise in order to live my life like I want to. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Sometimes people just want to live their life the way they want to without any rules, without any restrictions, without any regulations. Just leave me alone. But I'm convinced that the Bible is right and somebody's wrong. Hallelujah. I want you to take particular note about this because as I reflect back on my life and I recall one of the most notable differences of the Thomas that made the saints peculiar back in the day and still is to this day is their earnest desire to walk upright before God and to live that life that they preached and they talked and talked about on a daily basis. Because they realized that anybody could dance. Anybody could shout. Anybody could quicken. But can you live right? Hallelujah. Holiness is right. We are facing in our day a Jesus alternative. A counterfeit versus the original. The clean versus the unclean. The holy versus the unholy. Y'all praying for me. I'm going to get through here in a minute. They, 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 the world don't really want, they don't want this real Jesus. Amen. After all, he is known for being a meek and lowly of heart. Amen. He is characterized by being despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows. Yeah. Hallelujah. And acquainted with who wants to be identified with somebody like that. And the world says we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him now. But here comes the good news, y'all. Hallelujah. But he was wounded for our transgression. Good God Almighty. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his oh hallelujah with his right we I am healed can you give God a praise I'm identifying I'm identifying with this Jesus which is called Christ hallelujah I'm healed by the wounds that's it. I'm identifying with Jesus, which is called Christ. Not a counterfeit. Not a make-believe. Not something that's really out of the fantasy world. Folks, we got to get back to preaching the Bible. Then help folks get Bible saved. We got to help folks get Bible saved. The gospel of Jesus Christ will save men's souls. Time out for some of this foolishness we are allowing is still holding us to hell. That's what made the difference. Dr. Thomas, they drilled that in us. Hallelujah. We didn't understand all what was going on, but we had a sincere desire to live right. Hallelujah. If it cost us our lives, we was willing to pay the price. Because we wanted to live right. We identified with this Jesus. Which is called Christ. Hallelujah. It's still holding us a hell. But we must continue to speak the truth in love. That's what Ephesians 4 and 15. We got to tell the truth. And nothing but the truth. But we do it motivated by love. Y'all with me today, it's not by anger. It's not because we want to bash a particular group of people. Not against anybody because we're all sinners saved by grace. But once that takes place, they have to be taught how to live right. How to walk right. How to inherit the blessing that God has in store for them. We are God's people. 
with God's agenda. And we're God's church. Can y'all say amen? amen? Hallelujah. The church does have standards. And this is not a zoo. Help me say the church is not a zoo. With all kind of animals and all kind of beasts. Hallelujah. Coming out. But I know that we are called out. We are the ecclesia of Jesus Christ. Proverbs 22 and 28 says, Remove not the ancient or old landmarks which they, thy fathers have set. When we take away those standards, when we take away those types of uh, things by which helped us to get in line and to regulate our lives from an old life of sin to a new life that's in Christ Jesus, we messing up, y'all. We still got to tell them the truth. What are we doing? You have to tell folk the truth. But know this, everybody is not going to accept that truth. And I found out that you cannot help everybody. Hallelujah. You got to preach the word. Amen. Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, verse 16. I want y'all to take note of that. I'm yes, getting high and happy. Y'all let me get on with myself here. Jeremiah, I'm good. Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, verse 16, gives us some instructions. And I say, God, help us to follow the instructions that you already set out yes, for us yes. to follow. Thus saith the Lord, stand in the ways and see and ask of the old path. Where is a good way and walk therein uh -huh. and ye shall find rest. Help me say you got to get rest for your soul. And this is what their response was. Uh -huh. But they said, uh -huh. we will not walk therein. So folk make a constant decision not to obey the truth. Jeremiah said, well, I've had that problem, and guess what? You and I in this day yes, have the same. Some folk you cannot help. That's right. You can lead a horse to the water, but somebody said you can't make them drink. Yes, and I put it this way some folk would rather have Barabbas than Jesus. Yes, sir. I look at the fact of when it does in the human element, and I get that. I heard you, Bishop Thomas. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's always a human element to everything that you do with God. Don't believe that if you want healing, he could have very easily healed Naaman on the spot. But he told Naaman to go to the go over to the river and dip yourself. He could have healed him on the spot, but Naaman had to move. And I said it last week: you got to position yourself for your possession. You cannot afford the luxury to stay where you are and get what God got for you. Y'all don't hear me this morning. Y'all hear me this thing today. That God could, that Jesus could have very easily healed the man that was in the pool of Bethesda. But he told him to go down there, get down there in the pool. He could very easily say, Lord, I don't know, I need somebody to help. Get yourself down there. He could have healed him on the spot. So we got to continue to tell the truth and tell him it's going to be a human element. You want God to do this for me, but you got to do something too. You got to cooperate with God. Help me say you got to cooperate with God. Hallelujah. Asking God for this and asking God for that. And you yourself sitting there thinking it's going to fall. It does not fall out of the sky. Hallelujah. There is a human element. You got to tell that to your sons and daughters. Cute is not going to cut it. They got to get their lesson. And I don't care how long they go to school if they're not taking the proper time to do the homework and take care of the necessary reading assignment. I don't care how much you go up there and fuss. They still are going to fail. Because they have not taken advantage of the opportunity of the teacher. The teacher can teach, but are you willing to learn? We're dealing with a generation of people that says, give me Barabbas rather than Jesus. The teacher can be ever so effective, but if your child or if you are not willing to learn, and that's why I'm constantly asking God, God, give me a teachable spirit. Give me a teachable spirit. Somebody can, can say a word and can speak into our lives, but we have to be willing to be teachable. Can y'all say amen? So cute won't cut. It takes skills to pay the bills. I don't know where it comes from. Get your learning, but don't forget your burning. Hallelujah. 
You can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make him drink. We are all sinners saved by grace, but after we accept Jesus over Barabbas, there is a change that takes place in a person's life. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. But we have to teach this from the pulpit, in our homes, and in our families. Y'all ought to say amen if you can. Hallelujah. We can't spare their feelings because they don't like what we're saying. We got to tell them what God loves, and that is the truth. It's going to help them in the long run. And I heard the old mothers, as they began to give us the, my mother used to give me some uh, things that were good, the old turpentine, the old castor oil. And I hated it, sister, brother, I hated it. But what she used to do is mix it with some orange juice. Mix it with something that I like. And I got really what was ailed me in me. But I didn't really know what was going on, but that was the wisdom of our mother. And it's going to take this type of wisdom to deal and impact this generation. We've got to use wisdom to get in them what's necessary. They cannot continue to do things their way because their way is not working. Hallelujah. We've got to tell them like it is. Y'all ain't hear me this morning. 2 Corinthians 6 of 17. I'm going to get back to Judas uh, 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 the rappers in a minute. But I'm talking about this modern day Christian or this modern day Christ alternative. 2 Corinthians 6 and 17 and 18. Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you. That's what the Bible said, y'all. And I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord God Almighty. That's how you become a son. That's how you become a daughter. You can no longer do things your way, but it's got to be God's way or no way at all. But we can see. Can you see yourself even in Barabbas? Destined for death, but finding freedom and life through the death of another person. This much, of course, is clear, and this moment is merely an exchange, but a substitute. Y'all hear me say, this is a substitute. This is a substitute. Jesus doesn't die instead of Barabbas. Mm -hmm. He dies in his place as a substitute. Yeah. He it was his representative because yeah. Barabbas was very much guilty and deserving of what he was about to face. Yeah. Amen. Jesus and Barabbas, and this is what I want you to take note of, stand accused of the same crime. Yes, sir. According to Roman law, uh -huh. that was sedition, yeah. that was insurrection, yeah. and that was treason. Yes, sir. That's why they considered Jesus a criminal. Yeah. And him and Barabbas was almost in the same shoes, uh -huh. according to Roman law. Yeah. So he was Barabbas' substitute. Yeah. Oh my God, I see myself. Jesus was our yes, sir. substitute. Yes, yes, yes. We was jacked up, yeah. messed up from the floor up. But he took our place. He died in our stead. He was our representative. Hallelujah. The world has a lot to offer. It has popularity. Barabbas had popularity. He, it has influence. He had influence. And even as you look at it, he also had position. And what will people do now just to get a position? They'll do anything. They'll sell anybody out just to get because it's a Jesus alternative. Give me Barabbas and not this Jesus. Because this Jesus has restrictions. This Jesus has, this Jesus has, 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 has laws. It has, has restrictions on what we can or cannot do. This Jesus is a forgiving individual. This Jesus is the one that will throw his life down for it. When I'm looking for popularity, you better get out of my way. When I'm looking to have influence or I'm looking for a position, you better, uh-oh, get out of my way. Because after all, it's a Jesus alternative. Yes. Hallelujah. And But what would you rather have? Temporary acceptance 
as Barabbas had, and I heard somebody said the other day that he said, oh Lord, he died in my place. He took my place and he was there at the cross of Jesus knowing that he was the one that was guilty. But I don't know about you today, but I'm not going along with all of this that's going on in our society. And even within our church circles, I'm still choosing Jesus. I'm still taking Jesus for mine. And I would rather have Jesus yes, sir. than all of these other things that this world affords today. I'm not going to, but I tell somebody wrote and said this, I'd rather have Jesus uh -huh. than silver or gold. Yes, sir. I'd rather have Jesus than riches untold. Uh -huh. I'd rather have Jesus than houses of land. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I'd rather be led by his nail scarred hand uh -huh. than to be a king of a vast domain. Yes. Than to be held in sin's dread sway. Uh -huh. I'd rather have Jesus than anything yeah. than this world affords today. Anybody with me today? You put me with together. You got to shake loose. You got to get the devil off your back. Come on home where you belong. You know that you don't fit with the crowd. Don't go with all of the things. That's not you. You need to separate yourself as the scripture just said. Wherefore come ye out from among yeah. them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Yeah. I'd rather have Jesus than men's applause. Yes, sir. I'd rather be true or faithful to his dear cause. Yes, I'd rather have Jesus than Jesus. worldwide fame. Yeah. I'd rather be true to his holy name mm -hmm. than to be a king of a vast domain. And to be held in sin's dreads way. Yeah. I'd rather have Jesus than anything. Than this world affords today. Yeah. Would you have Jesus? Would you say give me Jesus? Uh -huh. Or give me Barabbas? Yes, My friend we're standing all over this house. Yes, and those of you that are listening. Make the choice this morning. Yes, you got a choice to yes, make. Sir. Will it be Barabbas? Yes. Will it be the Jesus alternative? Or will you have Jesus? Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus. Jesus. He's the real thing. Yes. Jesus is the real thing. Yes, sir. He'll help you through your situation. He'll be there in the midnight hour. Yes. He's not a hairling. Not just going to run out and run in on you. But he's there just when you, just when I need him most. Yes. Somebody said Jesus is near. Yes. Oh, just when I falter, when I fear, he's there. Yes. I want to encourage somebody today. Jesus is there for you. Yes. You don't have to worry about being left alone. He's somebody that said, no, never. Never alone. I don't care how lonely you may be and how isolated you may feel. Even during this pandemic, it seems as if no one cares about what you're going through. Jesus says, you are never alone. No, no, never alone. I don't know the words to that one all the way, but I know that we're never alone. Jesus is there to comfort and to cheer you. He's there to comfort and cheer you right now. My brother, my sister, if you're in sin, if you're outside yes, of the sir. ark of safety, if you have been hidden and missing, if you're looking for what I just mentioned to you, that safety zone, if you're looking for a place of safety and rest and refuge, you can find it in Jesus. Uh -huh. You won't find it in drugs. You won't find it in sex. You won't find it in alcohol. Yes, right. That's just a temporary solution. Because once you come out of your stupor, once you come out of your sexual cult, sexual escapade, yes, you still got the same issues. Y'all yes, didn't hear me this yes, morning. Sir. But I tell you, if you turn it over to him, he'll work it out. He'll do it just for you. And I want you to bow your head wherever you are. Yes, Don't do it if you're in the car, but keep your eyes open. If you're listening to this broadcast, if you're listening to us right now, make the choice. Will it be Jesus or will it be Barabbas? I'm going to choose Jesus. I'm going to take Jesus yes, for mine. He'll heal you. He'll deliver you. He'll set you free. He can do it for you right now. Bow that head. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I said what you told me to say. Yes, sir. Help us to choose you over all that this world affords us. Over the popularity. Over the influence. Over the position. Because after all, it's not our position, but it is our condition. And our condition is of such that we need you every day and every hour. We need your divine presence upon our lives. Bless us today, God, in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Holy Ghost overshadow them, God. Those that are here, even in our midst, those that are listening to us through Facebook and live stream. God, overshadow them now. Give them the strength to trust you 
even when they cannot treat you. Give them the strength to know, God, if they make the right choice, that God, you will support them, you will uphold them. You're there. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all of his fears. Do it for him today. Save the unsaved. Deliver the undelivered. Set free those that are bound. Look on those today, God, that are making a choice, that have a crossroads of decision. Help them to choose you over their friends, over their peers, over their influence, and those whom they thought could make them be arrived. But God, let them know that you're the one. You set up one and you put down another. That promotion cometh not from the east nor from the west, but commotion cometh from you. Come on to hold fast to your promises, and we'll be so thankful and so grateful to give your name the praise. These and all the blessings we have in Jesus' name. And for his sake, help me say thank God. thank God. My friend, my brother, if you gave Jesus your life today, rejoice. You're never alone. Rejoice. He's there with you right now. He's there to help you, to, to heal you, to deliver you. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, bless his name.